Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know about the thumbnail, this video is all on cleansing balms. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna try to keep this video really short and I'm mainly going to talk about how well I think that these balms worked um, to get heavy, thick makeup off like what I have on now uh, because I have on the works. Powder, foundation, bronzer, blood, all of that <laughs> I have it on and I'm gonna talk about my experience so let's get started all right so the first one that I have is by the inky list and this is the oat cleansing balm and this one is marketed for uh, sensitive skin it does have a very thick solid consistency you really do have to squeeze the bottle really really hard just to get it to come out and when it does come out it does come out in a solid and you just kind of rub it in and it does a really nice job of getting off thick makeup um, I have used some cleansing balms that do a little bit better job whenever I do use this one I always feel as though I do need to go back in with an additional cleanser just to kind of ensure that my face is as clean as it can be I do love the price I think that this is really or better suited for someone who uh, doesn't wear a lot of makeup someone who has sensitive skin and someone who's looking for a cleanser uh, or a, a cleansing system where where they just have to use one cleanser. They're not in, interested in double cleansing or triple cleansing or anything like that. But overall, I think this is really nice. And I think that um, for those type of folks, they would really enjoy this particular cleansing balm. All right, so the next one that I have is by Youth to the People. This is the Super Berry G this is the Super Berry Dream Cleansing Balm. Comes in a glass container, which is really nice. The plas uh, excuse me, the top is plastic. And when you open it up, this is what the balm actually looks like. And as you can see, it does have a solid consistency. So here's the deal with this one. I think that it is very uh, nice. I think that it is on the pricier side, especially since it doesn't have like a spoon attached. I found that this one to be um, on the waxier thick side uh, for me it did crumble uh, when I used it and it just kind of tugged at the skin I do like the fact that it does have really good ingredients uh, for the skin um, it does have a mild mild scent almost non-existent you really do have to kind of sniff hard to uh, actually smell it for this one I really did have to go in with an additional cleanser uh, because it just kind of left a wax feel on my face this would uh, be probably better suited for people who like to triple cleanse um, for folks who uh, don't wear a lot of makeup and that are looking for a cleansing balm uh, with lots of good ingredients in it um, but again I do like the packaging it's very nice and I do love all of the good ingredients that are in this baby all right so next up I have a balm by item beauty uh, by Adam and Ray and this is the slick type cleansing balm so first off I just have to say uh, hats off to the packaging I don't have the box in front of me but I even love the packaging on the box this particular balm does have a uh, applicator right here so you don't contaminate your product and let me tell you for someone who wears a lot of makeup at times sometimes I do have a, wear a lot of makeup particularly when I'm doing videos <laughs> um, you know I really appreciate that so you just unscrew it and here is the balm right here and as you can see it's just a white consistency and I really like the fact that it has uh, grapeseed oil in it as well as olive fruit oil and those are oils that are really good for the skin I do love the fact that um, once you use this particular cleanser you don't feel the need to go back in with an additional cleanser it doesn't leave a film on your uh, face I have accidentally gotten this in my eyes and I didn't have any problems with burning or anything like that although I do anytime I use a balm I do you know hold my or close my eyes really really tight just to kind of avoid that filmy uh, that film that you get on your eyes anytime you're using a balm I really love this once I finish with this I will repurchase it I think that this particular uh, one is better suited for a little bit of everyone you know sensitive 
sensitive skin, who a person who has sensitive skin that doesn't wear a lot of makeup, all the way to someone who does wear a lot of makeup. I think that you would really enjoy this one. All right, so the next one that I have up is by Pharmacy, and this is Clearly Clean. And let me tell you all, I love all of their cleansing balms. I really do. I love the fact that you do have a little spoon in here that will keep you from contaminating your product. And again, this one is white. It has the same uh, consistency as uh, the slick type and it does an awesome job of immediately just melting off thick makeup. Um, once you uh, rinse it off, you don't feel the need to go in and cleanse a third time. It does a really good job of doing this. I also like the fact that it has sunflower oil in it and it just feels really good on the skin. It doesn't have a scent. Um, again, this is another one, you know, anytime I, try, I use my bombs, I hold my, <laughs> close my eyes really tight, but sometimes, you know, if if something happens, I have to open them. Um, I don't have any problems with burning or anything like this. I really enjoy it. Um, I may be a little biased because I've been using their bombs for years, probably four or five years now. Um, they're just overall um, a good bomb. And if you have it, I know that you're enjoying this one. All right, so next up I have the Pre-Cleanse Balm by Dermalogica. And here's the deal with this one. This one, um, it's very 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 thick okay and it's very very do y'all see that and it's very hard to get out can you all see that it's just really 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 thick when I apply it to my skin I do feel as though it tugs especially with heavy makeup and it just doesn't do um, a good job of really getting off heavy makeup if you are wearing it um, I think that it would be better suited for someone who just didn't wear makeup at all now I do get good results from this when I pair with my intensive moisture cleanser uh, these two together together work wonders. So I'll start off with this one. Like when I finish this video and I take off this makeup, you know, I could apply this to get this off and then come in with this one. This one is a milky uh, cleanser. I love this one. I will repurchase this one over and over again, but these two work magnificently together. So if you're into triple cleansing and you don't mind a very thick, 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 thick balm, um, this would be the one to try. It does have apricot kernel oil, which is going to nourish the skin. And it's also got lavender in it, which is going to soothe the soothe the skin so it's got some good ingredients that are you know going to help make the experience of using it very nice um it's just it's it's a little bit difficult to use a little bit difficult to it would have been better to me if they would have just put it in a container like this just because of how hard it is to get out of this little tube but overall would i um, repurchase this to use by itself no but I would definitely repurchase it along with this because these two I absolutely love and even this one on its own just you know in the morning times I like to use this one but this is that's for another video <laughs> so anyway yeah if you have this one and you've been using it let me know what you think about it I would love to know all right so last up I have a cleansing balm by Vanilla company and this is the clean it zero now this one also comes with a little spoon but it's not um, a little applicator to keep you from contaminating it but it's not attached uh, to it any in any type of way and this one has a white consistency too same as the slick uh, the slick type and the uh, pharmacy this particular uh, company also makes cleansing bombs that are to revitalize the skin clarify the skin nourish the skin as well as purifying uh, the skin but this is the original one and I really like this one this one does an awesome job of removing makeup as well it just kind of quickly melts 
down and just really gets the makeup off. Now, this one is formulated with a tripill acid, and that just means that it's got AHA, BHA, and LHA in it, which is really good. So if you um, are trying to add more acids uh, to your skincare routine, this one would be good. You know, even though you are going to wash it off, uh, it does contain that in this particular balm. And what I like most about this one is that, you know, with it having the acids and things like that, it doesn't leave your skin stripped and you don't have to go in with a triple cleanse if you don't want to. I always like to, cause that's just kind of, I've always triple cleanse, you know, but you definitely don't have to, cause it's not gonna leave a film on your face or anything like that. So this is definitely a good one to try if you have um, if you wear heavy makeup so that's it short and sweet those are the cleansing bombs that I've been trying here lately let me know what cleansing bombs you've been trying and how you have been enjoying them or not enjoying them let me know down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches